become a member. Sign in and start streaming today. Time to do our favorite part of the show, Disgrace of the Week. Patty, as always, please start us off. Well, thanks to Donald Trump, Colorado just lost one of its unlikely celebrities, Rod Blagojevich, Blago, is gone. He's been released. He's going back to the land of Chicago and hair dye <laughs> and bribing people to become senators. Back home. Uh, Michael. Uh, Representative Sonia Waquez Lewis posted on Twitter a picture of Bernie Sanders after the debate with him grimacing and said, I'm not a doctor, but I think he might have had a stroke or something. Uh, I think that representative elected officials should not be spreading that kind of information when you don't know what you're talking about. She took it down, uh, but I thought that was uh, you know, poor form to do it. Natasha. The coronavirus is scary enough on its own, um, but it should not be connected with any sort of report. The, we're hearing these reports of, of racism and xenophobia connected um, with conversations re regarding um, the coronavirus, and that's just wrong. I wholeheartedly agree. Elena. I got to call out my colleague, uh, Joey Bunch, for not being here today, leaving us to make those <laughs> jokes that he always makes. So, uh, love you, Joey. Uh, 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 well, uh, firmly, t uh, tongue firmly in cheek there. I love uh, uh, that, uh, that Joey did something great for us. Uh, uh, he say something nice that he uh, 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 let us know what uh, your contribution to car politics. So it's great to have you. Time to say something nice about somebody. Patty. Uh, Dr. Tracy Cassie, a retired Denver police officer who went on to an incredible career at the New York Police Department, is back here now and was honored yesterday by the Denver police officers at the Blair Caldwell. Really a great, great woman. Michael. Uh, I want to say something nice about Wyoming, uh, our neighbors to the north. <laughs> She's laughing. Um, but basically, uh, it's well known that I'm a big uh, Taxpayer Bill of Rights supporter. Uh, you have legislators up in Wyoming who are going to try to pass Taxpayers Bill of Rights up there. Uh, I think it's credited our state with a lot of economic success, so uh, I hope Wyoming follows with that. Natasha. This week we found out that James Beard Foundation is honoring a local classic, El Taco de Mexico. I was just, it's so wonderful that they're getting the... Um, the uh, coverage that they deserve. <laughs> That's awesome food there. I had a second James Beard's att uh, attention there. Elena. This week, uh, the city of Denver and Denver Public Schools announced a new partnership. Um, they're handing out $200,000 in micro grants to help uh, lower the, the, the troubling trend of uh, youth gun violence in Denver. Um, and so I think that's a great initiative. 